Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It keeps us motivated. Anyhow, in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and build on to our object-oriented program example, a uh, school program here. Um, in today's tutorial, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, create a method that returns the user's full name, not just their first and last, where we can call it. All right, so the cool thing about classes is we're able to create methods that make our life a lot easier when working with objects yeah sure we could uh call um uh the first name and last name and append them together and uh do that within our program somewhere but it's nice to be able to just call a method that does it for us so yeah this is a little simple today but it, hey it's going to help you guys understand as we move through for with this program all right so what we're going to do is define a method and we're going to call it a full name and we're just going to pass self and then down here we're just going to return self dot uh first name plus uh a string with a space in in it and then another plus and then we're going to say self dot last name like that all right and there you go there there is our full name method very simple right so we're going to go ahead and save it if you have to if you're on PyCharm you do not have to and we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to kill my uh, interpreter real quick and start it over so mine's python 3 yours may be python 3 or python uh, and then we're going to do from school lower key uh, from student lowercase student import student just like that all right now we need to create our student object all right so we're going to create a student so a is going to represent that student oops and we're going to use capital because we're calling a class and I'm going to use my name Tom comma Myers there we go and I do not remember exactly what we had. Uh, we have age, grade, and GPA. And we set GPA to 0, 0.0, so I don't have to set that. All right, we set a default for that. So we're going to say age is um, um, 36, but that wouldn't work. So we're going to say I'm 14. Sounds a lot better. Uh, 14, and then um, we're going to say I'm in, I don't know, what grade are you in? Oh, ninth grade. All right, hit return, and then we're say dot a dot full name. All right, and the parentheses hit return, and we get Tom Myers. Now, if you call it without the parentheses, like this, you get a um, bound method, which basically is indicating to you it is some kind of method inside the object, all right? Inside the student, student, object, all right? So that is our tutorial for this one. Uh, so you learned how to create a method that calls the full name. And what I tend to do is when I'm working with classes is try to um, add as much helpers as possible. So like if I want the student's full name, I'm going to go ahead and create a method for that. I'm not going to go, I mean, we could do this. We could do a dot uh, let's do this print a dot first name uh, plus and then our um, our quotes for a string in the space and then another plus and then a dot last name like this close out our print hit return and there we go we got Tom Myers we could do it that way but if you got to call this quite often, that would be a bit annoying. And this is, looks really ugly to me. All right. Uh, this is a lot nicer right here. All right. So in the next tutorial, we'll keep building onto this, uh, this uh, program so you guys can learn object-oriented programming. I'll see you in the next tutorial.